going on guys? I'm Justin Fix and this is the S550 Fix YouTube channel. And today we're gonna be working on my new truck. It's a 1989 Chevrolet K5 Blazer. I've taken the grill off of it um, because we're gonna be doing something with the lighting here. So today we're gonna be doing some lighting because I've been having trouble recently with the headlight going out on the driver's side. So I took the one from the passenger side here and moved it over and it worked. So I thought it was a wiring problem, but it turns out it's the prongs on the headlight and I'm tired of fooling with it. Today we're gonna be getting rid of all of that mess and doing something, I wouldn't say custom. Um, I'm gonna show you all a picture here. That is a guy I follow on Instagram and he has a K5 Blazer and he's done something similar to this and I like the idea so I kind of stole it and uh, we're gonna see how it looks on here. All right, so first thing we're doing is we're gonna take out all of the lights. Uh, these have little bolt heads. I'll just, I'm gonna use a screwdriver here, got different attachments. Bought it at Harbor Freight for like eight bucks and it's been great. Um, so like I said, we're just gonna remove the headlights here and it's going to be a little monotonous, so I'm going to do a little time lapse of taking all these little screws out. Alright, so now I'm going to show you the problem I was having with the lights. So this is the old one that was on the truck when I bought it. It's a uh, guide halogen light, and you see the prongs on there, how long they are. Um, well, what happens is, is here's a new one, it's a Sylvania halogen light. There's nothing wrong with the light, it was a great light, but the prongs on it are a lot shorter. I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not, but they're a lot shorter. So I was having problems, connection problems with this, and I was wiggling it around, I was wiggling it around and you know sometimes it would turn on and I had a lot of luck with it a couple times but after about a week week and a half of doing that I just got tired of doing it so now and in this box here is the new lighting I'm gonna have on the truck so these are gonna be the new turn signals they're 17 inch LED lights by part Sam I got them off Amazon I, I'll link everything that I got in the description below. Um, they seem to be really great, and they're going to go right here. They should be way brighter than the stock marker lights. And these are the new high beam headlights, which they're not headlights, and I'm probably going to get pulled over for it, but you know, you got to do it. And these are going to go here, and then. This is going to be my new low beam. It's literally half of what I just showed you. It's a uh, Amazon. All these I got off of Amazon, and this one's going to go right here. And I'm going to see if I can get these headlight buckets out and kind of tuck it in there because I ordered a new grill for the truck. Now I'm going to take off these marker lights here, and then we're going to see about taking off the headlight buckets. All right, so I got the headlights out here and the marker lights. And as you can see, there's a little bit of surface rust here. Um, the truck is 31 years old, so it's to be expected. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some paint and just kind of touch it up so that way it looks a little bit better. So in the top here, right here and here on the side and on each of them, there are adjustment screws for up and down on the lights so and those go all the way through this front support here so i'm going to take those out and then there are two springs on one spring for each bucket on each side and i believe those also hold it in because you can wiggle it here so i'm going to take these adjustment screws out and see what it looks like it's going to be my low beam and my high beam here so it should uh, be pretty bright, a lot brighter than stock. So we're just gonna keep, I'm gonna touch up behind where those buckets were with some paint here. And then we're gonna start wiring at least these up. 
All right, so I got it painted, obviously, because it's not dry yet, and I'm impatient. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the stock connector, and I'm doing the bright lights first in case this doesn't work or I mess something up. At least it's on the brights. So the only thing I'm really noticing now is that I'm not going to be able to put the bracket in the center because there is nowhere to mount it there. So, now I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to push it to the right or push it to the left. And there's actually a pole there, but it doesn't quite give any room. So that's about where it's going to end up, depending on whether I have the bracket. I'm gonna grab the low beam Make sure I'm not limiting myself with room here, which I should be more than okay. Put that that way. Yeah, it should be great. All right, so now the only thing I gotta do is drill a hole on whatever side I decide and wire this bad boy up. I got some connectors here and we're just gonna do that. All right, so I got my drill, and I think right there is about where I want it, just on the other side of this little bevel here, and we're just going to drill this little hole, and we're going to take some paint and put in that hole. So that way, it prevents it from rusting. Before we do anything, we're going to wire this thing up. Using a female connector on the ground wire, the black, and a male connector on the red wire, just so that way I don't mess them up. And you can't be plugging the wire into the wrong side. So. I gotta go around on the other side to do this, and I'm put, just putting connectors on the stock wiring. The high beam here, this uh, this connect or this diagram here, you got the high beam light there, light green and black. The black is the ground, obviously, so we're gonna do black to black and green to red, which should be power. And then we'll test it, and if it works, we'll go ahead and bolt it in and do the low beam. So if everything's right, which I'm pretty sure it is, I should turn on my lights. Now we got a high beam. And I'm sure that it has washed out. Sweet. So there is my new high beam on my truck. So. Yet again, if it is right, if I hit this, it should turn off. Perfect. So, just like that, you got a high beam on your truck that is elite. All right, so I've connected it. So if all goes right, that should be high beam. And it doesn't look like it worked. Oh, it did. So, there is your low beam. All right. All right, guys, so the low beam worked. I got the hole drilled, so now I'm gonna mount it. And all I'm gonna do is put that there, a bolt in that hole. Put this here bolt in the hole there. Put the washer Drop the washer and forget about it. So put the lock washer on there Put the nut on All right, so that is the love meme. Next up on the list 
is I want to get this one side done. So, what we got here is what we have is the blinker light. And we're just is with it constant power. And that is the blinker. So it stays on. It doesn't hyper flash, which is great because I bought load resistors that now I don't need. So this is my new marker light. All right, so there it is. There is one side almost done. I still got to tighten up the pods here. Um, they're still loose. So there's going to be about where this one ends up here. I'm going to try to caress that bracket up some. And there's going to be where the low beam ends up there. Kind of bend that bracket up some too. And uh, then the marker light, I haven't screwed down this one side, but it's actually pretty steady. Um, so there's that. Alright, so the grill came in today, so now we're going to try to put it on. And the only thing I'm concerned about it hitting are these lights here, because they do stick out a little further than stock. So let's see how it fits. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like videos like these, I'll be doing more because I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff for this truck. And also doing more stuff to my Mustang. Hopefully I'll be able to get working on some things on that. Um, and make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll have my uh, 